afterwards. Okay, so hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to make a pre-stroke measuring tool for this 456 injection pump that would help us accurately measure the timing of this injection pump should we perform a 456 engine tune up okay the reason why i wanted to do this is that because before i only use a digital caliper in performing an engine tune up when it comes to our injection pump and this method is very very tedious okay i have to insert it something like that then all too often i have to remove this fuel filter and lift pump assembly that way could somehow insert this right here and then clamp it with vice grips so that I can do the measurements. And like I've said, this method is very, very tedious. So what I will do now is I'm going to remove that plug, okay? Loosen it up, okay. I can now remove this by hand, okay. Just watch out for the copper washer, okay that one inside there okay so i'm going to measure the size of this bolt that's 8 m8 and the thread is one so m8 by one now the simple way of doing this most probably is to find a similar bolt of this size and drill a hole to here okay but uh, that would be easier done in a drill press or perhaps even a lathe and that's something that I do not have. What I think I'm going to do is to just use these stainless capillary tubes. Actually, this is perfect. It fits my Fowler dial gauge perfectly. Okay, so this 8 millimeter capillary tube, I'm going to cut it here and these two. Okay, okay so the pieces are cut now. So I'm going to insert that there. This one needs a little bit of persuasion, okay? In. Okay. Okay, so I do believe that's good enough. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to put an M8 by one thread on there. Okay, so we now have a thread and okay, so I do believe that's done. I also made a sort of a funnel using a mini grinder. Okay, that way should I insert the push rod inside the stem, it will just slip right in. Okay, so next I'm going to slip this inside this capillary tube okay so same height so now that's permanently attached on there well dead okay I already measured this so I'm going to cut this stem four inches Okay, so my pre-stroke measuring tool is now almost complete. This is from the stem of my uh, bore gauge. Okay, so let's insert the dial indicator. Clamp that down. Okay, okay, so it's not moving. So all that's left to do is the push rod inside here. Okay, so I'm going to use this Allen as a push rod. It fits perfectly in there. Okay, so the push rod needs to protrude only about 10 mm. So I'll cut off the excess. Okay, so I made an allowance. This protruding about 
11 mm so what I will do now is to insert this as well as this and then weld this so that this push rod is not going to wiggle about inside this stem Okay, so I'm going to insert that, it should be no problem, check if it's going to slide smoothly in there, and it does, so perfect. I'll check that with the dial indicator, clamp it, okay, and that's about 10 mm, and perfect so if you're curious for the dimensions the stem length is 10 centimeter thread length is 18 mm the length of the push rod is 85 millimeters however you can actually make the stem longer or shorter as well as the push rod depending upon the stem but just observe this 18 mm thread length as well as the push rod okay should not be smaller than 2.7 3 mm or higher at least okay the push rod because you do not want this push rod to be inserted inside the hole of the plunger okay i'll show you a peek of that okay so as you have seen you do not want this to go inside there otherwise you won't be able to make an accurate measurement so as for the sizes of the capillary tube that i use okay od meaning outside diameter id is internal diameter okay just take a screenshot of this and you should be fine okay so there it is a pre-stroke measuring adapter so maybe the next video that i will try to upload is how you can actually use this so all in all i do believe that's it this is my homemade pre-stroke measuring tool or measuring adapter okay and i suppose you can also make one yourself if you want it's very easy to make so if you like this video like share subscribe if you want to only if you want to and as always thank you for watching